So remember in the last video, we put up a fence around our plants to keep the birds and potentially rats and any other pests out. And straight after that, I mentioned that we had an issue with algae. And yes, we still have the same issue. It took me about five days to find some hydrogen peroxide because it is sold out almost in every store that I went to besides one store which is where I got it. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Hopefully this will be able to kill off the algae blooms that we have. We have a couple things that we actually need to address. Firstly, obviously the algae. Secondly, I want to update some of the seedlings in the plants that we have outside. Thirdly, we need to top seed one of our pots because the birds previously did kill off the seedlings. And fourth, I got a cat, so I want to share that with you guys. First, I think I'll update you guys on our seedlings that we have outside. As you can see, our tuberous drosera are growing really, really well right now. All of them are sprouting, and we have our drosera macrantha here, being the tallest tuberous drosera that we have at this moment. And it actually caught a fly while I was busy watching it. Can't see the fly anymore because the way that the trap works is that it pulls the fly right underneath and then covers the fly like it is doing right now. You may be able to notice that we don't have much algae or any at all on our pots here. And the reason for that is because they are outside in the sun and they have good wind and good sunlight. This is actually a natural deterrent of algae and prevents the algae from growing. And that's why we don't have any algae issues with our plants outside. The reason why we have algae issues with the ones up on our porch is because they are covered and they don't get any direct sunlight and very little wind, which is a great way to grow algae. And the only reason why it's like that is because I don't want our seeds that still need to germinate out in the sun before they've germinated. This just allows me to have some more control over them. What I wanted to show you guys is that we have a third Drosera Regia sprout. Can you guys see it? It's right in the center of the screen. Now we have the one next to it and the one just off in the background, also busy growing. Can you guys see them at all? They're very difficult to spot. But we have three Drosera Regia and that is super, super exciting guys. Besides our new Drosera Regia sprouts, you may be able to notice all of our tiny plants busy growing on the surface of these pots. If you see specks of red or green, that is most likely one of our sprouts busy growing up. You can see they're starting to put on quite a bit of size now, which means that very soon you will have some plants with recognizable features, which is obviously great for us. Anyway, let's go back to treating the algae issue. And these are our pots that have seeds sown on them. None of these pots actually have any seeds germinating besides three or four. And this is when things start to become a little bit tricky. If you know anything about hydrogen peroxide, it actually is used as a disinfectant in many different applications. For example, it is used to sterilize equipment in the hospital, and that is obviously quite scary. That means that if we get tiny droplets of hydrogen peroxide on any of the seeds or seedlings, it may damage them, and we actually do have some seedlings. You may notice that we have some Drosera tormentosa seedlings over here. We also have Drosera latifolia seedlings as well as some Drosera trinovia seedlings. You can barely tell on the camera. And we have some Drosera tentaculata seedlings. You can barely see it on camera, but they are there. And this means that if we were to just take a spray bottle and spray the hydrogen peroxide onto the pots, 
that it will kill these seedlings as it can damage the newly formed cotyledons and roots. So what should we do about this? Well, I actually did a test on this part here of Adelaide and the Drosophila trinervia. I took some hydrogen peroxide droplets and I dropped it on top of the pot to see how the algae would react to it. And so far, I don't see much of a difference, although there is a small difference compared to what it was before. You actually can't tell on camera, but this pot is not as green as what it was earlier. But when it comes to the Trinervia, I literally do not see a difference in the algae in this pot. So I'm a little bit stuck here. I'm not sure if I should spray or not spray, or if the hydrogen peroxide actually works at all. And anyway, we need to move these new seedlings outside with the other plants but I'm not going to do that today as it is a bit warm today and South American Drosera prefer to have cooler temperatures. I guess I'll just have to wait and see how these two pots react to the drops of hydrogen peroxide that I applied to them today and then take it from there. I really hope that it does kill off the algae as I really don't want to have this algae killing off our seeds and seedlings. Talking about seedlings we have an issue. Previously, the birds were standing on our pots. That's why we put the net up. But ever since I noticed them on the pots, one of our species of Drosera has died off. And that species is Drosera cystiflora. This is our Drosera cystiflora pot. And as you can tell, there are no longer any seedlings on the surface of this pot. And what you can also tell is that the pot looks like it's been turned up a bit. What I mean by that is that the rocks are kind of loose on the top and there's holes everywhere. And this is definitely because the birds used their little claws and pulled and kneaded basically in the soil and killed off the seedlings. Man, that really does suck. But luckily, we have some more. So we are just going to pot some more seeds up and put this pot back right outside. Hopefully you remember how to so trust for seeds. It's very simple. All you do is take your seeds, put it onto a paper like this, and then sprinkle it onto the top of the pot. Super easy, super simple. And just like that, it's done. Now let's go put this pot back outside. So that's it for the plants today, but you might have heard me say the word cat. And yes, I mean it. I got myself a cat. And this is her. She's not actually my cat forever now. I'm just fostering her. As you can tell, she had some babies and she was not being looked after very well by her previous owners. So she was actually picked up by a rescue and I'm just fostering her, letting her get better. I'm gonna take her to the vet, get her de-sexed and then help her find a forever home. What should we name her? I'm not really sure what name we should give her, but she's super sweet. We've only had her for maybe four hours now and she loves cuddles and she's eating a lot. And she's so super skinny because obviously she was giving all of her energy to her little kittens. But she will grow nice and strong with us now and hopefully soon she can get herself a new home. So that's it for today's video. It's a super short video. I was expecting the hydrogen peroxide to kill the algae much more than what it actually did. So that's a little bit disappointing, but at least you can see now we have our sprouts coming up and we're gonna see what happens with the hydrogen peroxide. And also, I'm going to be doing some videos on how to care for the South American Drosera because as you know, they've started to sprout and they need a little bit of a different care to other Drosera. So I'm actually going to be recording that video tonight when it starts to cool down a bit. So thank you guys. See you next time.